peaches, those sweet, succulent summer treats. Whether they're baked into a pie, a cobbler, or even eaten on their own, it's hard to find anything quite as refreshing and delicious as a juicy peach. But did you know you can also drink them? At Orchid Cellar Meadery and Winery in Frederick County, master mead maker Andre Wilk Jr. is hard at work turning 2,500 pounds of white and yellow peaches into peach mead. Every peach I do by hand, I like to touch every fruit, make sure exactly kind of maintain the quality. It's easier to weed out if anything's rotten or bad. This is gonna be kind of one of our main products that's kind of a staple for us. Now, if you've never heard of mead or aren't entirely sure what it is, the definition is pretty simple. Mead is the world's oldest alcohol and it's fermented honey. So wine is gonna be fermented juice, beer is fermented grains, mead is fermented honey, and that's what differentiates us. In this case, the fermented honey is flavored by fresh peaches. When Andre and his family came to the United States from Poland in the 1990s, they found America's mead selection lacking. So they decided to make their own. The tradition is very well maintained in Poland, and it's something that's been available in stores that was always around, and here just not as much. So we decided that it's a niche product that we're knowledgeable about and might as well bring it to people and see how they like it. And it turns out, people really liked it. Marketing manager Dan Kennedy says one reason is Mead's diversity. So it's gluten-free, it can be light, heavy, dry, sweet, still sparkling. It, it just has such a wide range that no matter what you're looking for, in all likelihood, there's a mead out there for you. Orchid Cellar has a not-so-secret ingredient that they try to incorporate in every batch, fresh local produce. Having local ingredients is a benefit because I know what I'm getting. I can have a relationship with the grower and we can come back and it also helps a lot with consistency. Orchid Cellar gets their peaches from the aptly named Scenic View Orchards. Here on the beautiful sloping hills in Sibyllisville, workers diligently harvest white and yellow peaches. Today we were picking White Lady, which is a white peach, and we had Sun Haven, a yellow peach, a yellow nectarine, and some Sun High. Manager Brandon Mosser oversees fruit production here at the orchard, which has been in his family for over a century. The farm's been around since the 1800s, and I'm the seventh generation here. We grow a lot of peaches, apples, pears, plums, cherries, and we have about 20, 25 acres worth of fruit. When it comes to the peaches, it's important that each one is harvested at just the right time. Peaches are kind of tricky to know when to pick. We go by prior experience. We keep track of everything of when it's picked from the prior year, so we use that to get us in the ballpark. And then from there, they are hand-picked by sight and taste, and so we pick the ripest, largest fruit first, and then we come back every two days and pick them as they ripen. Once they're ready, the technique is pretty simple. To pick a peach, you just grab it by the end and you give it a little twist and it'll pop right off when it's ripe. While most of the fruit is destined for farmer's markets or their roadside store, a few years ago, Scenic View started supplying Orchid Cellar with fruit for their meads. They wanted some strawberries for one of their products, so we were able to sell them some strawberries. Then over the years, they've asked for other things, blackberries, red raspberries, peaches, white peaches. And Brandon is proud to help things go from tree to bottle. We think it's great that our fruit's being used by other local businesses throughout the county. I personally enjoy seeing our products being enjoyed in other ways other than just eating. Back at Orchid Cellar, Andre douses the peaches with a mixture of honey, yeast, and water. All the sugars in the peaches are going to get eaten up by those yeasts. It's going to produce alcohol, but a lot of the peach flavor is going to be saved as well as aroma. 
In about eight months, the peach mead will be ready to drink. So when we say it's a peach mead, we're not trying to make it taste like anything but peaches. So you'll get, of course, nice hints of honey in there, a little bit of sweetness, but not an overpowering sweetness. The white peaches, they give off like a nice light silkiness. A lot of people call it liquid sunshine. A little sip of summer, available year round.